Welcome to our discussion on Data Vault, a revolutionary methodology in data management that empowers organizations to adapt swiftly to evolving business needs while fostering agility and efficiency in data warehouse development. In this conversation, we'll delve into the intricacies of Data Vault modeling, its key components, and how it seamlessly integrates into modern data architectures like the Lakehouse approach. Imagine you have a massive amount of data flowing into your organization from various sources like financial transactions, patient records in healthcare, or customer interactions. Managing this data efficiently while ensuring its accuracy and reliability is crucial. That's where a data vault comes in. Data vault is a powerful methodology in data management that provides scalability, flexibility, and agility in handling large volumes of data. Data Vault is the architectural backbone of the data ecosystem, designed to adapt and evolve with the ever-changing demands of data storage, processing, and analysis. At the core of Data Vault lies its unique modeling approach, which consists of three main components, hubs, links, and satellites. Hubs serve as the central repositories for business keys, representing key business concepts or entities such as customers, products, and orders. For example, in the financial industry, a hub could represent a customer entity, while in healthcare, it might represent a patient entity. These hubs essentially act as the single source of truth for identifying and tracking these entities across various data sources. Analysts utilize natural or business keys to access information within a hub. The primary key of hub tables typically consists of a blend of business concept ID, load date, and additional metadata. Links establish relationships between different business entities captured in the hubs. Links contain only join keys akin to a factless fact table in dimensional modeling. They lack attributes and solely focus on facilitating connections between entities. Continuing with our financial example, a link might connect a customer hub with a transaction hub, indicating which customers were involved in which transactions. Similarly, in healthcare, a link could connect a patient hub with a medical procedure hub, showing which patients underwent which procedures. Satellites contain the descriptive attributes or details related to the business entities stored in the hubs or links. They provide context and enrich the raw data stored in the hubs. They resemble a normalized version of dimension tables. For instance, a customer hub may feature multiple satellite tables, each containing information like customer geographical attributes, credit scores, loyalty tiers, and more. In the financial domain, a satellite attached to the service hub might store details like service name, status, and effective date. In healthcare, a satellite attached to the patient hub might contain demographic information such as age, gender, and medical history. A significant advantage of adopting the Data Vault methodology is the minimal refactoring required for existing ETL jobs when alterations are made to the data model. Data Vault adopts a right optimized modeling approach, fostering agile development practices and aligning seamlessly with data lakes and the lakehouse paradigm. The benefits of Data Vault are manifold. It offers scalability by allowing for seamless integration of new data sources and accommodating growing data volumes. Its flexible modeling approach enables easy adaptation to changing business requirements without disrupting existing structures. Additionally, its inherent traceability and auditability make it ideal for industries with stringent regulatory compliance needs, such as finance and healthcare. Now let's differentiate Data Vault from other data management approaches like Data Fabric and Data Mesh. While Data Vault focuses on the structure and modeling of data for efficient storage and retrieval, Data Fabric emphasizes the integration and accessibility of data across distributed environments. On the other hand, Data Mesh advocates for decentralizing data ownership and management, empowering domain specific teams to manage their data assets independently. To implement Data Vault successfully, certain best practices should be followed. This includes establishing clear business objectives, involving stakeholders throughout the process maintaining data quality, and continuously iterating and refining the model based on feedback and evolving requirements. Implementing Data Vault requires a blend of technical and domain-specific skills. Technical expertise in database design, ETL, extract, transform, load, processes, and data modeling is essential, along with a deep understanding of the business domain being modeled. Key steps in implementing Data Vault include requirement analysis to understand the business needs and identify key entities and relationships. 
Then is the data modeling to design the hubs, links, and satellites based on the identified entities and relationships. Then is the data ingestion where data is extracted from various sources and loaded into the data vault. This might involve data transformation to transform and enrich the raw data as per the business and technical requirements. Throughout the process, there is data governance to implement measures to ensure data quality, consistency, and compliance. Implementing Data Vault includes continuous improvement by iterating on the model based on feedback and changing business needs, such as new data sources, and change to existing data sources. The objective of Data Vault modeling is to swiftly adapt to dynamic business requirements and facilitate rapid and agile development of data warehouses through its inherent design. Data Vault is particularly well suited for the Lakehouse methodology due to its easily extensible and granular data model characterized by its hub, link, and satellite architecture, enabling seamless implementation of design and ETL changes. Let's now delve into how Data Vault integrates within the bronze, silver, and gold data tiers of Data Lakehouse, transitioning data from its raw form to a refined state primed for analytics. Within this multi-layered architecture, raw data resides in the bronze tier with minimal alterations, maintaining a structure closely aligned with the source system. The Data Vault methodology finds its application in the silver tier, where data undergoes transformation into hubs, links, and satellites. Moving to the gold tier, multiple data marts or data warehouses can be constructed following dimensional modeling principles, such as the Kimball methodology. As previously mentioned, the gold tier primarily serves reporting purposes, employing denormalized and optimized data models to minimize joins. In certain cases, tables within the gold layer may be entirely denormalized, particularly if data scientists require such a structure to support their algorithmic feature engineering. When a data vault model is implemented in the silver tier, it streamlines and significantly diminishes the necessary changes for ETL processes into the data marts and warehouses. Hubs facilitate key management, whether surrogate or natural keys, simplifying the process. Satellites streamline dimension loading by encompassing all attributes, while links facilitate the loading of fact tables by encompassing all relationships. In summary, a data vault is a powerful approach to data management, providing scalability, flexibility, and agility in handling large volumes of data while ensuring data quality and consistency. By understanding its components, benefits, and key implementation steps, you can harness the full potential of a data vault to drive insights and innovation in your organization. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on data architecture and technology trends. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy data modeling.